Thank you for tuning in as we get to know another small business. Each week we go live on Wednesdays and then post a YouTube video every Friday with another small business from the Michigan and Ohio area. This week we're getting to know Greener Pastures. Greener Pastures will be at our first market on March 31st and April 1st of this year at the Davisburg County Fairgrounds in their Heated Activity Center. So if the Michigan weather's awful, we'll still be there in our Heated Activity Center indoors um, for our spring market. Hi, Rena. Thank you for having me here today. I'm really looking forward to the spring show and I really appreciate this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Jennifer and I'm the owner of Greener Pastures Vintage and More. When I started my business, it was out of a need to have purpose. In February of 2019, I was diagnosed with a stage four terminal cancer diagnosis and unable to go back to my regular job. The one piece that was really missing for me was to have purpose and to have something to focus on um, other than thinking about the what ifs. So I've always been a big collector of vintage and antiques. I have spent many years from my teen years on going to estate sales and auctions and all, all kinds of places. And, and I tend to, to like the things that are a little more rustic and beat up, uh, but I, I guess I just like to think of giving it another chance. Um, that's kind of how the name Greener Pastures came together. Uh, Greener Pastures is a better place. Um, so I like to think that all of these pieces that I touch will go on to their forever home and they'll have a great life with their new collector. I've been in business, well, for quite a long time selling on eBay and Mercari and Etsy, but February of 2022, I obtained a space at one of our local antique malls here in Marine City, Michigan. Um, I'm located at Back Porch Antiques and Vintage. And if you haven't been to Marine City and you're in Michigan, it's a great place to come if you're a vintage or antique lover. Or for that matter, lover of the St. Clair River or good food, because we have all of that too. And it's going to get exciting around here soon once the ice starts to flow and the ice breakers and freighters are downtown Marine City. So come on to Marine City and check out all of our vintage and antique shops. My favorite thing about being a small business is it allows me with the schedule of uh, treatments and surgeries and things that I have on my plate to be able to thrive and go full bore on my good days. And it also allows me to have those days that I need to rest and take care of myself. Um, so I have a wonderful group of family and friends that are very supportive and they can step in at any time for me and do whatever I need them to do. So um, it has really given me an opportunity to, again, have that purpose and to move through life and do something that I love to do. These are an example of some of the things you would expect to find in my booth at the antique mall or at the spring sale. There's that turquoise and pink Christmas that you all know that I love. A little bit of Pyrex up there. Some of my favorite things. Little Santa here, some vintage little mice, vintage Christmas ornaments, and our little deer families, a little tabletop low mold Santa. Love him. Davy Deer's new red scarf. Adorable book and a great story if you haven't read it. Another little deer family. Some little tiny shiny bright ornaments. I've got some vintage inspired garland up top with a vintage set of lights intertwined. It's kind of hard with the lighting here. I hope you can see. 
here's one of my vintage trees and I try to have the the rule of no ornament left behind when I see a pretty pretty vintage ornament I can't help but bring it home so I of course have some of these that will be for sale at the spring show and in my booth because I only have so much base and we've got some little vintage putts village And these are something else that I never pass up. So I like to have those for sale as well. I've got Santa. A vintage sleigh from Woolworth. Some vintage ornaments. Another vintage Santa. More vintage bulbs in the boxes, which display so well. Vintage gift wrap. Oh, you can do so many things with vintage gift wrap. Another one of my favorites. Some vintage cards. Some vintage fantastic plastic. Have to love that. They make great little decorations and such. And here are some of the Little celluloid pieces and some of the breakables, which of course, who doesn't love those faces? And some winking Santa mugs. And a vintage Christmas hanky that is so cute. Love old linens as well. And a vintage stocking. So those are some of the things that you can expect to find in my booth or at the spring sale at my table. I can't wait for the spring sale to get here. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to follow Greener Pastures and Rustin Retro Vintage Market on Instagram and Facebook, uh, as well as following us here on YouTube. Again, we post our videos every Friday um, so you can get to know another small business from the area. Um, check them out and uh, you don't just have to shop from them at our markets. Um, we definitely encourage you to shop local, especially from our awesome vendors all year round. Uh, so thank you again for tuning in and hit that subscribe button and have a wonderful day.